Amid the fierce battles on the front lines, the armed forces of Ukraine resumed large-scale attacks on Russian territory. On April 25th, the AFU struck an oil depot and a military unit in the Russian Bryansk region. The attack was likely carried out with drones. A large fire broke out in the tanks filled with fuel and lubricants. According to local reports, in addition to the oil depot, fire presumably hit the 120th arsenal of the main missile and artillery directorate. Later, it was reported that the Russian air defense shot down six drones in the Kursk region. On the same day, the AFU fired at the border villages of Nihotaivka and Zhurevlevka in the Belgorod region. Two civilians were wounded. In response to the AFU attacks, Russian high-precision missiles hit at least six railway substations in western Ukraine. As a result, railway facilities in Krasnoe, Zboldanov, Zemerinka, Berdichev, Koval, and Krosten were destroyed. The Russian Ministry of Defense reported that these stations were used for the supply of foreign equipment and weapons to the Ukrainian groups in the Donbass region. Now, railway communication in a number of western regions of Ukraine is blocked. Meanwhile, on the front lines, Russian forces are slowly advancing in different directions. The joint Russian and LPR troops are pushing the AFU to the south of Izium and near Velikaya Novoselka. The reinforcement of Russian forces in the area continues, so a major assault in the area is probably yet to come. To the east, the LPR troops advanced from the direction of Kremenaya, took control over the village of Zeriechne, and are approaching the town of Liman. The AFU are suffering heavy losses in the region. Control over the town of Liman will provide the LPR units with a direct road to Slavyansk from the east. Another victory for the LPR was claimed to the northeast of Papasnaya. The town of Novotoshkovskoye was taken under LPR control. A Su-34 of the Russian Aerospace Forces was shot down over the Balakaya district of Kharkiv. Both pilots ejected safely and were promptly found by a search-and-rescue team from the Russian army. In Mariupol, the Russian side unilaterally claimed another truce for the evacuation of civilians from the Azovstal plant. A humanitarian corridor was secured for workers, women, and children to exit in any direction. However, none of the civilians ever came out of the facilities, confirming that the Azov nationalists do not care about the fate of their hostages. Two months after the launch of Russia's military operation in Ukraine, the situation on the front lines confirms that the conflict has finally phased into a war of attrition.